Hey everyone, welcome back to Keeping Fish Simple. So you're here to learn a couple of the ways that you can make money off of breeding fish. I'm gonna be blunt coming off the bat here, but this isn't easy and it will take a bit of time and the profit from it isn't gonna be much, but if you do it right, you can pay for your hobby uh, by breeding fish. So you won't be able to quit your day job. But in this video, I'll cover the ways that I've made money breeding fish in the past and how I can teach you to do the same thing as me. So stay around till the end so you can watch all the tips. So tip number one is to start small. So a lot of you aren't going to like this, but this is one of the most important parts of breeding fish for profit. I see so many people that decide that, for, for example, they're going to start breeding angelfish for profit. And they go out and they buy tons and tons of 40 gallon aquariums and they, they spend thousands of dollars on this massive setup. And then they kind of pay it back. Now from a business aspect, that's just plain stupid because everyone knows that Rome wasn't built in a day. So what I would recommend is that you start with something small, like a small 20 gallon aquarium. And then you build your way up from that. This will prevent you from having a large startup cost. Now, tip number two is picking a fish that is good for your desired market. There's no point deciding that you're going to start breeding discus if no one in your area is going to buy them from you. So I'd do your research and I'd go to the local fish store and ask what they have that's high demanded by customers and you go on your local um, fish forums and Craigslists and you have a look at uh, what's selling. This way, after you've actually bred some fish, you won't be left with a whole bunch of them that you can't sell. Tip number three is to pick something that's really easy to breed. There's no point deciding that you're going to start breeding discus if you can't actually make them or it takes too long to make some. For this reason, I'd recommend that you choose something like guppies or uh, platies or a live bearer because they breed by themselves and they don't require any effort. You can actually make a lot of money from breeding um, rare fancy guppies that are pure strain because they sell for quite a lot and they don't require any effort to breed, so I'd get on top of that. Tip number four is a hard one, and that's to limit your spending. Now this is really tricky because I know how hard it is to walk into a fish store and not buy something. But if you're going to do this properly, you have to limit your spending and make sure that you're not buying stuff that you don't necessarily need for your aquariums. This is because we're trying to limit the amount of debt that we have to pay back in the end. Tip number five is to find a way to sell your product. There's no point breeding a bunch of fish if you can't sell them in the end. Now there's a few ways that you can sell your fish and uh, the first way is to sell them back to your local fish store but I found this isn't a great way because uh, most local fish stores won't give you cash so they'll just give you store credit and that's all right if you're going to go and buy food or more equipment for a new aquarium or whatever but if we're trying to breed for profit here we want our money back. So the other way is to sell directly out of your home and you can do this through a bunch of online um, sources like Gumtree or Craigslist or um, some Facebook uh, online groups. And this way you can get directly connected to hobbyists and outsource your product um, easily. You just gotta make sure that your product's actually in demand in your area. You can also sell your fish at local fish club auctions, but that's a bit of a gamble because you don't know how much you're actually gonna get for your fish. Now that sums up my tips on how to breed fish for profit. And um, I'm gonna quickly tell you the ways that I did it in the past. So the way that I did it was I started off with a small 20 gallon aquarium and that had guppies and java moss and water wisteria in it and what I did from there was uh, the guppies mass produced and I got tons of uh, java moss and water wisteria and what I did was I um, started to sell my guppies and eventually I sold all my guppies and the uh, java moss had taken over the aquarium so I sold some of that too and I actually ended up paying off that aquarium and I could buy um, some more stuff so I ended up buying some cherry shrimp and then these cherry shrimp kept mass producing and then I um, eventually paid off the whole aquarium and then I was able to buy another one and I kept doing the same thing and I expanded to um, different types of guppies like I've got some red tuxedos and I also expanded some platies and some bristlenose catfish and um, it's been really good because I've been able to pay for all the food from my aquariums and all the electricity and maintenance costs so that's the way that I did it and um, you can do that same method as me or you can follow the steps that I um, showed you, so yeah. Now I really quickly want to show you the Keeping Fish Simple um, Facebook group. This is just a simple aquarium group where we share um, advice and different pictures of our aquariums and fish and questions and um, I'd really appreciate it if you went and checked it out and requested to join and yeah, um, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video.